Welcome, uh, Professor Chimer. Uh, Good to be back. Uh, in your seminar yesterday, you mentioned that uh, we need to invest uh, more in agriculture to stimulate uh, growth in rural areas, and that farm sizes, especially in Asia Pacific region, uh, will need to get bigger as uh, the more uh, new integrated technologies are not scale neutral. Right. So, in that scenario, what can EFA do uh, to foster a policy approach? Uh, in helping the government realize these objectives? Uh, I think the key question is making sure that as farm size gets larger, agriculture remains profitable. Uh, it can get so competitive that the farm incomes actually are, are threatened. I think we have to make sure that agriculture stays profitable, that the m incomes earned on these somewhat larger farms using m new technology then get spent in the local area on the goods and services, which would then create the demand for small-scale enterprises serving the rural economy. When you think that that's going to be the solution of the transition, at least in the short run, then you ask, well, what, does, what do small-scale enterprises need? They need good infrastructure, they need good communications, they need access to finance. They probably need management skills and, and at least good basic schooling. Everybody needs access to health. So it seems to me that the, the key things that will stimulate the farm households to be productive will also then spill over into making these small-scale enterprises. That's going to be where the initial flow of people off of the micro farms into small-scale enterprises. They'll learn skills there and eventually they'll move to the, the formal sector. Uh, thank you very much. Good, thank you.